have been called upon. Two years ago, it was a mom from Royal Oak tapped to illustrate the White House Christmas tour book. And last year, a local grandmother helped decorate the White House for the holidays. Well, now an incredible honor for a Detroit artist known around the world for her portraits and sculptures. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson shows us Artist Lane's bronze sculpted bust of Rosa Parks now sitting prominently in the Oval Office. This sculpture is significant in so many ways. For starters, Rosa Parks actually posed for it in the backyard of the artist, Artist Lane. And Lane was sculpting not just a historical figure, but one of her nearest and dearest friends. At nearly 94 years young, Artist Lane has been sculpting and painting history nearly as long as she's lived it. My mother's gift to me was that name. Yeah, although it was preordained that I would be. Artist was meant to be an artist. I usually do portray heroic figures. As a painter and a sculptor, she's been commissioned by world leaders and influencers from past presidents to Nelson Mandela. Her piece called Sojourner Truth in Washington, D.C. was the first sculpture to honor an African-American woman in the United States Capitol. But sculpting Rosa Parks in her own backyard was different. She was like a sister to me. Lane remembers the day she met Rosa Parks, two young women marching in Detroit for change. I had to walk through a police section of Detroit, which had threatened to um, harm us if we went. It was the start of a special friendship. Like sisters, because we had the same, she was a very uh, devoted woman. The two posed together in 1991 at the unveiling of the bronze bust at the Smithsonian. And now, 40 years later, the Rosa Parks bronze bust sits prominently in the highest office of the land, the Oval Office. It represents America's struggle uh, to rid itself of bigotry. Uh, and she represented that in her own self-sacrifice. It's an incredible honor, Lane says, and a reminder that our legacy and its impact lives on long after we do. It was a permanent reminder of the history of America in which she played a very strong part. Not only is her work displayed in museums around the world, it's also on display right here in Detroit. We'll link to her website at WXYZ.com. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Lovely lady inside and out. Thank you, Jennifer Ann.